Laura, I'm sorry, but we're not home right now. But please leave your name and number and we'll get back to you as soon as possible. Nobody there, honey. Yeah, I can hear breathing. Look, it's just a wrong number. It happens all the time. I've had a really hectic day. Another hysterectomy of complications. We nearly lost her. For God's sake, Gareth, I'm here all day, every day. Don't you think I know what someone is trying to get at me? Get at us. Mary, we've been through this over and over. This is the third time I contacted the guards. They had the phone checked. There's nothing wrong. Spending way too much time in the house. You have to get out more. Yeah, well, there was somebody in the garden this morning. Probably kids trying to get a ball. Garth, there is something going on. Look, you need to get out, meet women in the area, make some friends. There must be a women's group around here somewhere. You know it's not that simple. It is that simple. Mary. I'm not going mad. It never bloody happens when you're here. Why can't you just believe me? All right, calm down. Forget about dinner. It's a lovely evening outside. Let's go for a walk. I have too much to do here. You go ahead. Okay, I'll go for a walk. Look, I know you're not dope. I just had to check, okay? Just come out to bed, love. Gareth, I can't, okay? And don't go into the hospital today, Gareth. Let this McCrowley do it. You've done a loads for him. Mary, please don't start all this again, for God's sake. So what does that mean? I'm not going to be able to contact you for the rest of the day. I can't keep taking time off work. Gareth, did you go out into the garden today? No. Why? Because I could have sworn that I bolted that last night. Well, you must have forgotten.
possible. Yes, I really loved your analysis of that. It was very good. Look who I found lurking through the hospital corridors. Hello, class. Mary, how are you? Uh, can I get you a coffee, Colette? I would love one, thank you. Great, I'll get it, huh? Yeah, just this one. It's stupid. What are you doing bringing home the psychiatrist? Mary, I'm exhausted with all of this. Colette is a friend. Please talk to her. Before you start, Colette, I don't need any more tablets or committal forms or to be told it's a figment of my imagination. I don't suffer from paranoia and I don't have depression. No, 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 Mary. I just met Gareth here in the hospital corridor. I'm here to see how you're all getting on. I don't see enough of both of you. Everything is fine. You're settling in okay? How long are you here now? Six months and a week. You moved when Gareth got his promotion. We had to. What do you mean, had to? You know quite well what I mean. Of course. Sorry. Mary, you look a little pale. You should get out more. Anyway, I should be heading off. It was lovely to see you, Mary. Talk soon. I'll see you out, Colette. What do you think? I'm a bit concerned. She's maybe suffering another bout of depression. She's really anxious. She thinks I'm one of the people trying to get at her. We could always go down the medication route again. Just keep an eye on her. I'll call in next week and see how she is. Okay? Thanks again, Colette. No problem. I'll see you out. See you soon. That was nice of Colette, wasn't it? I have had enough of this. I'm going to bed. Just a post, honey. Listen, it's a lovely morning outside. Will you do as Colette suggested and go for a walk in the park or something? Yeah, if I get time, I'll, I'll go. Okay. I'll head off to work. I'll be back as soon as I can. Bye. <laughs>
Mary.